2023 Volkswagen ID5. Volkswagen emphasizes the development of electric cars as part of its long-term strategy, and the MEB platform is the driving force behind this initiative. Now the company is offering ID5. The ID5 features a lower roofline and a drastically slanted door behind the B pillars. These design elements contribute to the vehicle's aggressive stance and enhanced aerodynamics. As a result of the more rounded glass house and the flatter rear deck, the ID5 has an appearance that is definitely reminiscent of a coupe. A spoiler that is mounted on the deck lid of the ID5 gives the vehicle a more aggressive look. The GTX variant's LED daytime running lights, or DRLs, subtly convey its presence by using three honeycomb components mounted on the outside margins of the bumper. On the trunk lid, where the model name badge would normally be, there is a GTX symbol instead. Both the Pro and Pro Performance versions of the Volkswagen ID5 come equipped with a rear-wheel drive powertrain configuration. On the ID5 Pro, a 128 kilowatt or 172 horsepower motor allows for acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 10.4 seconds. The ID5 Pro Performance motor is far more powerful, coming in at 150 kilowatts and 201 horsepower, enabling it to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.4 seconds. Both ID5 Pro versions have the same maximum speed of 100 miles per hour, thus there is no difference between them. The ID5 GTX offers increased performance and traction compared to its forerunner, thanks to the inclusion of two motors. These motors have a combined output of 220 kilowatt of power or 295 horsepower. The ID5 GTX can reach 60 miles per hour in just 6.2 seconds from a full stop. The ID5 and ID5 GTX each include a lithium-ion battery pack that has a capacity of 77 kilowatt hours on average. Both the ID5 Pro and the ID5 Pro Performance have the same maximum range as measured by the WLTP, which is 325 miles. The ID5 GTX has a WLTP range of just 309 miles, which is slightly shorter than the ID5's range. Up to 11 kilowatt of power may be supplied to both the VW ID5 and the GTX version of the vehicle by using either an AC charging station or wall box, or a DC charging station. Charging at 135 kilowatts for around 30 minutes may extend the range of an ID5 by 242 miles, while charging at the same rate for an ID5 GTX extends its range by 199 miles. The Volkswagen ID5 GTX, which has a larger peak charging capacity of 150 kilowatts, can extend its range by an additional 62 miles with only a quick visit to a fast charging station that lasts only 6 minutes. The ID5's dashboard is modeled after the one seen in the ID4 model. Even though it has a display that is 12 inches in size, the infotainment system may be more welcoming to users, but it will take some time to get used to the fact that you will need to push away or forward rather than pull back to engage drive on an electronic gear selector. The augmented reality heads-up display now includes not just the newly added travel assist assisted lane change, but also other symbols like roundabouts and information about the distance that is still needed to reach the destination. The ID5's adaptive cruise control keeps a safe gap between the car in the front of it and the vehicle in question while keeping the vehicle centered in the lane it's traveling in and reacting to any speed limits or bends in the road. In addition, the ID5 can remember a path of up to 50 yards long that has a maximum speed limit of 25 miles per hour. This means that the driver will never have to worry about parking in a space that is too confined again. Assuming that you have already parked the vehicle and stored your method, your vehicle will now attempt to replicate the maneuvers you used to park independently without requiring your assistance. The VW ID5 base model price is $51,118, while the price of the VW ID5 GTX variant is $58,920. If you enjoyed watching this video, check out these other videos. Thanks for watching.